Have you ever recorded a video or a podcast or audio clip of yourself and it sounded like absolute trash? In today's video, we're going to teach you how to take an audio file that doesn't sound too great to transforming that audio file with some AI tools so you could sound like a professional podcaster. If you don't know who I am, my name is Shanae Murray and I have about a million followers on LinkedIn and over 365,000 newsletter subscribers. My name is Shanka Ponsole. Hello, everyone. I have a successful marketing agency in San Antonio, Texas, and I also am able to really tap into the circles of my target audience in the medical field using my LinkedIn profile. So what is the first tool that we're going to be using today, Shankar? The first tool that I have stumbled upon yesterday that I really find very interesting is called Adobe Podcast Enhanced Speech. As you know, a lot of times you will have your greatest ideas, your greatest conversations, maybe not in the ideal environment. And also when you travel, we have noticed that it really gives you an inspiration. Your creativity is really fueled and you might just feel like taking out your phone and recording. So that's why we're showing, I'm showing you in a moment here, the enhanced speech feature on Adobe Podcast. This is the interface of Adobe Podcast enhanced speech. And we have two files loaded up here. One is a sample that was already in Adobe. And then I decided to record my own this morning to compare. So we'll first use the sample. It's only 16 seconds. So when enhanced speech is not turned on, it sounds like this. I'm in a conference room with the window open and it's pretty echoey in here too. Not the best place to record audio. Yet with enhanced speech, all of the background noise and echo is gone. Okay, so you heard at the beginning there was a car honking. There's kind of that echoey being outside sound that we can perceive. So let and me... And it sounds like there's traffic, like cars passing. Exactly. So let me play the same file. And this time I have the, the enhanced speech uh, switched on. I'm in a conference room with the window open and it's pretty echoey in here too. Not the best place to record audio. Yet with enhanced speech, all of the background noise and echo is gone. As if I recorded this in a professional studio. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, clearly a big, big difference. I couldn't hear any cars. I couldn't hear the That's echoing. a huge difference. Yeah, it sounded yeah. like the guy was in a studio. Yeah, that's very powerful. And there's a lot like... For those of you who know maybe other tools, in this simple switch, there's a lot of fine tuning and technology embedded. And that is what we aim to show you. How can you leverage AI to really get your results fast without having to spend hours and hours learning a tool? And this is this that's basically what AI does for us, right? It speeds up everything, all of our processes. So let's try a file that I did this morning, see if it does uh, just as well. So what I did is I went outside, a van passed, and I also took my recycle bin and um, pushed it over the uh, street. So you hear that, and then we can see if I'm able to clean up that file just as nicely. All right, to demonstrate this, I have walked outside. And there's a van who's passing here. So you probably hear that in the background. And then I actually have my recycle bin that I'm going to walk with. So we'll see how well it will do in filtering all of these things out and making it sound like it's a good studio environment. Okay, so now I will say I might have pushed it a little bit like, you know, who who pushes their recycle bin while recording a podcast, right? But it is just to it's to a really good test, though. Yeah, what are the limits of this too? <laughs> All right, let's see. I have 
And as you can see, there's a strength slider here that uh, right now at 90%, and we'll see if that becomes uh, important too here. All right, to demonstrate this, I have walked outside and there's a van who is passing here. So you probably hear that in the background. And then I actually have my recycle bin that I'm going to walk with. So we'll see how well it will do in filtering all of these things out and making it sound like it's a good studio environment. You didn't even hear the van passing even no, yeah. before you switched it to 100%. Yeah. And you could kind of hear a little bit of the rumbling of the recycling bin, but it's nothing compared to the first one. Like, it's a massive difference. It's a massive difference. And I would say it is really good enough to, if you just really, you know, that's the one recording you have, you want to release it on a podcast. And yeah, you know, that's that's going to do. Adobe is something that maybe a little bit more advanced creators and designers and all of that use. But a lot of entrepreneurs or business owners who just so happen to build their personal brand and create content, they use tools like Descript. So what we're going to do now is test the same sound file and there is something called Studio Sound in Descript where it could change what the sound file sounds like. And then we'll kind of see which one does better, whether it's Adobe Podcast, the enhanced feature or Descript Studio Sound. And we'll let you see for yourself or hear for yourself. So I'm going to play the audio file again so that you have a good comparison. All right, to demonstrate this, I have walked outside and there's a van who's passing here. So you probably hear that in the background. And then I actually have my recycle bin that I'm going to walk with. So we'll see how well it will do. In okay. What you would do is you would just highlight. And then here there's a thing called studio sound. And you would just toggle that to the right. And then as you can see, it says applying studio sound to voice cleanup demo. All right. To demonstrate this, I have walked outside and there's a van who's passing here. So you probably hear that in the background. And then I actually have my recycle bin that I'm going to walk with. So we'll see how well it will do in filtering all of these things out and making it sound like it's a good studio environment. Wow. All right, let's check it out. Ah. Oh, I think that Descript was a clear winner. I mean, I could... I could... I'm actually surprised, though. Like, I yeah. barely heard the recycling bin. Exactly. I mean, that's very impressive. And then, of course... We know it's an all-in-one tool that does so many things. And you would argue, well, why, why would you even have different components, right? So, but that's also why we teach in our program, we teach Descript as the yeah. program to know to be able to do everything. That's really yeah, cool. I'm, I'm very surprised. I'm actually very surprised. Descript is really becoming a super app for yeah. Not just creators, but business owners building their personal brands. It's easy to edit videos. It's easy to just click a button and do things like that. And it did very well.